Now for more on Nigeria's film industry, I'm joined by Franco Sachi. He's a documentary filmmaker and director of the award-winning film, This is Nollywood. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, as we heard earlier in the report, Nollywood is a job generator and brings in hundreds of millions of dollars to the Nigerian economy. Now, you're someone with years inside the industry. How important would you say Nollywood is to the economy? Oh, it's, it's extremely important. And I have to say, the reason why I, uh, I wanted to make the story um, uh, several years ago is was because I always felt that uh, it was uh, an economic development story that was completely overlooked. Um, people who were um, uh, just looking at the film industry with some of its technical shortcomings were missing completely uh, the relevance uh, of, of Nollywood. And uh, the development economists were not used to, or, the, or at the time, were, were not ready to look at uh, a cultural phenomenon. You know, b the assumption was that you, know, you develop an economy and then culture will develop. And things are exactly the opposite. I think Nollywood is a cultural phenomenon and at the same time an economic development um, uh, 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 phenomenon. And so um, culture comes first. Uh, storytelling right. and reappropriating your own you know, uh, identity is the premise for um, everything else. So that was my, uh, what I wanted to say in my uh, documentary. Now, Franco, as we look at how the market has grown since it first gained momentum in the early to mid-90s and, and early 2000s, what do you think has really been driving that growth? Oh, you mean in the, in the film industry in general? Uh, uh, specifically it, for Nollywood? It, it, yeah, I mean, it's the demand, the, the voracious desire to uh, see stories uh, that you can identify with. I mean, it's really the demand. It's the, the, the fact that uh, for every film, there are millions of people out there uh, willing to watch and forgiving also as, as the, you know, the, um, your guest before uh, and, and, and forgive some of the shortcomings and, uh, but also stimulating uh, a number of filmmakers in, in, in Nigeria to do better and better and raise the, the, uh, the production values. So there is a full range of films. But I would say, what it, to answer your question uh, specifically, it's the demand. It's the desire. Um, I, I will never forget a woman who said, um, while I was filming this, she came to me and said, you know, when I watched uh, a film made by our people, you know, that tells stories about my city, Lagos, I almost can breathe better. So in other words, it was some type of psychological relief and absolute sheer joy watching stories uh, made by, uh, you know, their compatriots, by, by other Nigerians, for Nigerians and for Africans at large, actually. Now, Franco, for people who've perhaps never seen a, Ho a Nollywood production, what would you say makes it so unique when you compare it to, say, a Hollywood or a Bollywood? Oh, well, first of all, I mean, um, th th there is um, uh, I mean, many stories, I, I, I would say, they uh, touch hot buttons that are very specific to, you know, uh, African society, Nigerian societies. Um, I think if you haven't been in Lagos, uh, you probably cannot imagine what is a real traffic uh, <laughs> jam. And, and, and so maybe, you know, it, it's identifying in certain stories uh, or, or certain issues like, uh, you know, um, what it's like, you know, um, uh, um, dealing with, you know, Western culture impacting more traditional habits. And, but in a, it, it, this is all dealt in a very modern way, really, with this um, medium. So I would say that um, some of the stories are very specific to the local culture. Uh, right. But said, said that, I think many stories, and, and particularly you, you mentioned before, you know, Kuhn uh, um, Lefolayan, I mean, he's making films that are very, I mean, I think anybody can watch. They are ready for, for, for a global audience, in right. my now, opinion. Now, now Franco, several, I, Franco yeah. I do want to get to um, the point of, of the fact that Nigerian films are also the country's top cultural export. So as you look beyond Nigeria to perhaps the rest of the continent and the rest of the mm. world, what do you think are, are some of the challenges that Nollywood is going to have to overcome to really take the global stage? Uh, okay, of course. So let's not forget that there is a, um, a Nollywood has a foot in the informal sector and many, and also in the formal sector. So, in other words, uh, accountability, accounting, uh, you know, uh, 
I mean, it, it's it's to 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 make the jump into the formal sector for sure. Um, and I think in in the show you you were making this clear that uh, there are, the two worlds are coexisting. So this is one factor. Uh, the other one is piracy. Uh, it, it's it's um, uh, it's it, it, you know, the rule of law and the infrastructure. So this is the only area where I think uh, the government can intervene. And I know that they are working on this. Um, so distribution models that are up to, uh, you know, um, uh, the task. And, um, right. and certainly, yeah, exactly. So these are the, the, the usual. These are problems that in many ways are not too different for us living, you know, in, in um, in the Western world, in the United States, or in Europe, <laughs> to, to be honest with you, I mean, it's it's uh, cracking the distribution models and um, and um, uh, fighting piracy for sure. Uh, it's it's a it's one of the key issues. Um, uh, but I'm still very interested in the low budget films. They really are impacting uh, the uh, millions and millions of people. You know, and and the, and, and the the real phenomenon is this large numbers and the, the reach and the 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 the, um, the fact that the entire African continent is is really now seeing oh okay we can finally tell our stories I think after many years this is still an important story about Nollywood but um, I also like uh, that, uh, that there is a, a sector in Nollywood that it's I think it's ready for the global market well it definitely and for seems an like international audience it definitely yeah, seems like there's something so. for everybody if you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.